Hey guys, in this video, we will analyze the birth chart of Apple's founder and one of the visionary in our latest time, Steve Jobs. So friends, as we can see, this is the birth chart of Steve Jobs and one must see that this is a border lagna. Yet for academic sake, let's see this. Before we go more deep into this chart, the pending karma technique, which I believe I have done one video on that and I'll make still a few more videos on that. But um, if we take a look at the pending karma technique, which is in a nutshell, observe the planets in the sixth house and the placement of the sixth lord. So, Mercury here, the planet of the communication or the communicative equipments is placed here, right? We can see Mercury in the Capricorn sign and the sixth lord Saturn is exalted and placed in the third house of communication or communicative equipments, right? The third house or computing in the sign of beauty Venus. So Saturn is placed in the Tula Rashi or what you called it as Libra, right? And this Venus, now it goes in the fifth house, which is the house of creativity. And it is placed with the planet of revolutionary impact and also of movies, which is Rahu. As we know, Steve created Mac a revolution in personal computers, iPhone, iPad and so on. All of them were revolutionary and decades ahead than his competitors. They were all pieces of art, which is Venus. Right. And for the first time, this equipment and their communication systems showed beauty. We used to have personal computers. We used to have phones as well. But the kind of beauty and elegance for which Apple stands was missing. And also, I'm not quite sure many of you, if you know, like Steve also created Pixar, which also won some of the best animation movies award and is still considered revolutionary. So quickly seeing the pending karma technique. So I was reading a book on the pending karma by K.N. Rao. Sixth Lord of Pending Karma is Jupiter and in Steve's horoscope is placed in the 10th house of father figure that also disposes the planet of astrology, revolution and research Rahu and is in the third Lord of Upadesha which means advice and writing. That's what he did in his life, right? Anything with the innovation, anything with the communication, like Steve was known to be a very good salesman. So, using all these K and Rao's techniques of the sixth law, now we are easily able to understand why some of the events unfolded in his life. Now, let's go to a technique of birth nakshatra and validate that with Steve Jobs' chart. All right, let's validate um, with the different techniques of the birth nakshatra, right? So the step number one is Mahadasha operating at the birth from moon nakshatra. Moon in this case is in Uttara Bhadrapada nakshatra in the Pisces sign, which is this nakshatra, which is ruled by Saturn who obviously becomes the Mahadasha ruler at birth. Saturn is the sixth lord of research and seventh lord of business. Having the communication planet Mercury in it, which is as we see in the sixth house, and the planet of brightness 
विच इज हो सन द पॉइंट टू बी नोटेड इज सैटन इज एग्जॉल्टेड विच इज इन द लिब्रा साइन इट्स एग्जॉल्टेड राइट इन दर्ड हाउस ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन राइट सैटन इज एग्जॉल्टेड इन दर्ड हाउस so he is the leo ascendant and saturn in third exalted which is of communication or communication equipments and libra here is in the sign of venus right so he created and the business of communication equipments which in this case is computers iphones right so that's a step number 1 which is mahadasha operating at the birth from moon nakshatra now let's go into step 2 that is associations of mahadasha ruler now if you see this horoscope saturn is aspected by own sign mars right mars is in aries which is in its own sign mars is the yoga karaka for leo ascendant and it is placed in the ninth house of fortune and guru okay mars is in its own sign which is aries and placed in house of fortune and guru still if you visit the valley or anywhere in the world you will find people who consider steve as their mentor or as their guru right there are many multiple movies on steve jobs many people admire him some people hate him as well which is pretty much the case with everyone right so this indicates that he became a guru or one that is looked up to and he became guru for the computing and the telephony world professionals right and also the users which probably constitutes all the users of the say iphone mac ipad which is more than 60% of the world right so in this way we can clearly infer results based on associations of mahadasha ruler got it okay let's go to step number 3 step 3 is mahadasha operating at the birth from ascendant nakshatra mahadasha operating at birth from ascendant nakshatra so ascendant nakshatra i am not saying moon nakshatra this is ascendant nakshatra in hindi you call it lagna nakshatra okay ascendant nakshatra is uttar faguni ruled by the sun hence the mahadasha ruler from birth ascendant nakshatra becomes sun now what is sun sun is the lagna lord of self which denotes popularity and projection of self okay what is sun sun i mean like sun is meant to shine right the so sun will denote popularity and projection of self now if you have read some books of bphs which is bhagu uh, sahasra padatti sun denotes creation and is the natural lord of the fifth house of creativity right so steve jobs was known to be extremely creative sun as the fifth lord is the supreme significator of communication sense fifth house 
is the aruda of the third half of house of communications and we can infer fifth house is that of author since author writes right writing third house so what one writes third house is effect makes him an author fifth house got it thus fifth house is the aruda of the third house now looking at his chart sun is placed in the seventh house of business right so his creativity of communication right he was very very well known for all his sales techniques and all the pitches the presentations right the keynotes that he delivered right so sun placed in the seventh house of business his creativity of communication got him into business of it and made him a public figure sun in seven and also the king right first of all he has sun in seven and sun is the king right so this is the step number three which is mahadasha operating at birth from ascendant nakshatra last step which is the step four association of mahadasha ruler The Mahadasha ruler's son is aspected by Jupiter, right? So, a son in this Kundali, son in this horoscope is aspected by Jupiter. Jupiter is in the eleventh house. By its ninth aspect, it is aspecting son, right? You can also call it as Nav Pancham Yoga, and. is the fifth lord of creativity leo ascendant fifth house sagittarius who is the lord jupiter right so there's the life pattern or why one is born in this life can be traced through this technique all these different steps that i have mentioned it can be traced through that and this in turn can give you a broader hint like what's your purpose of life why why actually are we born right bunch of us are not clear until we die but that's a different topic so using astrology you can easily trace why we are born what's our purpose in life using the steel jobs and the techniques that we demonstrated we can easily apply the same techniques to any other chart as well right so that's pretty much it for today guys in the next video maybe we will take up some other chart and discuss more about this technique right if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe see you again bye for now